Hey everybody, this is Michael with BackToTheFutureTrading.com and this is another episode of Ninja Trader <laughs> Unplugged. Okay, what do I have in the way of free goodies for you today? I have an indicator that I found on the Ninja Trader support forum and I'll go back here and show you the, uh, the exact page that I found it on, you can see ninjatrader.com forward slash support forum show thread blah 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 blah. You can take uh, a screenshot of that link right there if you want and to find it. And uh, one of the NinjaTrader users posted a copy of their code for an automatic trend line generator. And I've recently been watching the uh, Ninja Trader YouTube channel and one of the other vendors had posted a video about how to know if the market is trading in a channel and one of the things that always kind of bothers me about those videos is there's a lot of discretion involved and when you have a discretionary environment you tend to uh, cherry pick the best looking settings the best looking trend lines and channels and things that way so indicators can be really useful in allowing you to go back in time, back test, set up a trading plan, establish money management rules, and uh, really nail yourself down to a mechanical trading plan in that early phase of your career where you're doing the same things over and over and over again. Uh, very important in uh, moving from a consistently losing trader to getting to that break even plus phase. So I downloaded the indicator. I'll show you guys how to uh, how to get it here. I'm going to post it in my Dropbox, but this one uh, requires a, a few extra steps. If you go to um, my Dropbox, I'm going to put a link to this indicator. It's going to say DG Trendline V15CS. Uh, now, when the indicator looks like that, uh, once you download it, you're going to have to put it somewhere. So let me show you where it goes. So here you can see the file was in my downloads section. Uh, I'm going to copy that file. And then I come over to my documents and I find the NinjaTrader 7 folder. When I open that, you're going to go to bin, B-I-N, double click it. You're going to go to custom. Then you're going to go to indicator. And you're going to paste it into your indicator folder here. Now that's the, uh, that's the first step. So you take it from your download folder. You're going to go all the way over here to the uh, indicator folder under custom, under bin, under Ninja Trader, under documents. Once you get to there, paste it. Then you go to your control center. You're going to go to tools, edit Ninja Script, and then click on indicator. Pick anything in here. You're going to pick anything in here. And it's going to open up a box that looks like this. Go ahead and then click on this one that says compile when you hover over it. It's got two arrows pointing down and it'll make a hoo hoo noise. That tells you that the indicator compiled correctly and it's in your list of indicators now when you go to your Ninja Trader chart. So right click indicators, scroll down to where it says DG Trendline Custom V1, V5, blah, 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 blah. Okay, and I've already added it to my chart. And here's, we're going to kind of build a, a sample trading system, give you some ideas on how to maybe uh, do something with this. But what I like about it is it preserves the historical trend lines. It preserves the historical trend lines. So everywhere here you see one of these dark green lines or these orange lines, that represents the past downtrend and uptrend lines that were drawn. The most recent downtrend and uptrend lines are red and green. And your mileage may vary if you want to go and change those colors. Those things are available here. The only other thing you can change is the trend strength or the strength uh, of these swings that are involved that are forming the, um, the trend lines. So if you make that number smaller, you'll see smaller trends. If you make that number bigger, you'll see bigger trend lines across bigger moves. The default was five, so I'm going to leave it at five. Okay, and that's the only thing I've changed on this is the colors. Now, here's what I'd like you to do. 
scroll down to where it says EMA slope color. It's one of the free indicators in my Dropbox that I give out for the Unplugged series. And you know I like to use a 120. When the slope is down, I have it turned to lime green. When the slope, uh, rather, is up, I have it turned to lime green when it's up. When the slope is down, I have it turned red. And then I have it uh, set to a dot and a width of three. So when I add it, boom, look at what I got. Instantly, we kind of frame this now in terms of a trend trading system. I want you to put one more tool. <clears throat> one more tool. It's the ATR tool. It's another free indicator that comes straight out of NinjaTrader. And you double click it, it adds it here, and here's what I've done. It's a 14 period ATR. It looks at the last 14 bars. And here's what I've changed, the way it plots. The color is cadet blue, the plot style is a bar, and I've made it five in terms of width. When I hit OK, I get this neat little thing down at the bottom. <clears throat> Average true range was a indicator developed by a man named Wells Wilder, lived not too far down the road from me in Greensboro, uh, North Carolina. And Wells was one of the very first market um, technicians who developed indicators that were super powerful in, uh, in really unique and uh, powerful ways. And the ATR was a way to measure market volatility. Market volatility. So we're going to come back and look at this here in a second. I just want you to add all three of these to your screen. And here's a proposed uh, entry exit system that I'd love for you to try out and see if you get... Uh, good results. If nothing else, it's good to practice uh, a backtesting uh, method. Go on to a spreadsheet, enter your stops and targets and profits and losses, and get in the habit of mechanizing the system. So here's what I'd like you to look for. When the moving average is up, I want you to look for a retest of the trend line. So on the historicals, these first two points right here were needed to generate the line. So once we have the retest of that line and it started to bounce up, the line was active. And so in the direction of the trend, we're looking for touches of the trend line to uh, perhaps zoom in on and target as an entry. The idea being that trend lines get rejected. People are watching them. People are looking to see if they'll be tested and bounced off of. And in that sense, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. If everyone's watching the same thing and thinks the same thing is going to happen, then it probably will. Now, here's where the ATR kicks in. We have an understanding looking at that chart where our entry might be. Our entry might be right here or one tick above to get filled the trend line right there. Well, how far should our stop be from there? The ATR is a way of letting you know how far the bar usually moves in a three minute period. So down here you'll see the ATR on the close of that bar or the bar just before it was six ticks. It was eight ticks up here. So while we were waiting for that retest, the last value that we had was a six tick value. So if you had your entry one tick above the trend line, your stop would have been six ticks below. ATR, again, is the very least. You don't want a number any smaller than that because it's probably going to get hit. And if you're scalping, one ATR value is the bare minimum you should go into, I think, with a stop level. So in that case, that retest of that signal would have been minus six from 53 to 47. So you can drop that down here as we move forward. Now, that's one example of a trend entry using a trend line. You'll notice here though that the market comes down and then closes back above the trend line. So it breaks under the ice and then manages to, like a submarine, push back up above that ice and close. Again, when that candle closes, the ATR was nine ticks. It closes and it's nine ticks. So I want you to think about it again. If we were going to take that as a long position, now that we closed above the trend line, nine ticks down is 59 to 50. And that's where your stop would be. 
let's go ahead and draw the line theoretically okay well how far should we go for a target general rule of thumb traders that have been consistently making money trading in the direction of the trend try to go for at least twice what their risk value was so if you were going for a trade with nine ticks of risk you would try to go for 18 ticks in terms of profit so 59 plus 10 is 69 plus 8 is 77 so you would have gotten out right there so that trade is a close back above the trend line in the direction of the trend here's the third retest or the second retest rather of the uh, trend line after our trade previously failed and we have an entry at 68 the ATR at the candle prior was nine ticks and this would have been a nine tick loss 68 to 59 we can put that down there and show it as a loss now the next trend line that forms is this orange one it's a downtrend line it would have formed right here taking into account that high and that high the trend changes to a downtrend and now watch the market comes all the way back and pulls up to that trend line at 4017 same signal in reverse one tick above that would be uh, 4016 the ATR on that bar is nine ticks so nine tick risk would equal what an 18 tick reward and you can see off of the trend line entry 18 ticks would have been to 06 that would have been 10 98 would have been 18 ticks so one of the advantages of trading a trend system like that is you can risk X to make 2x can't quite grab onto that let me try to get my hands on it here and we'll change that to 18 okay there we go so the trend continues down the trend line is still intact here comes the next entry again we're taking bounces off of that line like it's a membrane that's going to hold its integrity so the touch would have been at 63 one tick below that now is 62 the ATR the least we're willing to risk is 11 ticks so 11 ticks times 2 is 22 so now you're gonna go from 60 62 to 42 to 40 and right there is your exit okay we're looking again for trend bounces we have a new trend in place once this green line is broken right here this is a close below the trend line so that line wouldn't have formed until the second bounce over here and it closes below and we have the same process this is a breakout trade instead of a touch as soon as that candle closes right here you have the ability to enter it the ATR is eight ticks so your stop would be eight ticks above you 38 to 46 and now we're looking for what we're looking for 16 ticks how far down does it go it goes down 12 okay so when you hit a hundred percent of the ATR when you get to eight ticks you might consider moving your stop to break even you might consider moving your stop to break even otherwise in this case you can see it never comes down and hits your target it only gets about three quarters of the way there so you can count that as a loss if you want wait for it to come all the way back up and hit the stop in which case it would be minus eight okay, if we didn't have a break-even condition hindsight is 2020 right and so that would have been a place to look for a loss so this is a great way to see how that kind of a system might work you're looking for two times your risk using trend line breaks and trend line uh, closes above and below you're looking for touches all in the direction of a primary trend at the end of that one session you're plus six I'm sorry plus 18 
plus 18, plus 22, and then minus 8, minus 9, minus 6 for a total of 35 ticks per contract. So this is a really great indicator, I think. It's simple. You have two setups, closes above, closes below in the direction of the trend, rejection of the trend lines in the direction of the trend. And what I like about it relative to what some other vendors are teaching, you don't have to use any discretion. You're seeing it there. It's mechanical. You can go back and back test other, uh, other uh, iterations of those setups in the past and conclude for yourself on the time frame and in the market that you're trading whether or not it would be useful for you. I'm going to save this template. I'm going to save this template in my Dropbox. It's going to be called Unplugged Trend Line, and then today's date, which is 0802. 080216. And that'll be the name of the template in my Dropbox today if you want to, after you've installed the indicators, just pull this chart up and use it as a template to start out with. So accessing the indicators and the templates couldn't be any easier. You're just going to go to this link, back to the future trading, that's us, dot com forward slash unplugged. And when you get there, just simply scroll down. You'll recognize the Ninja Trader. A little further past that is a place to put your name and email address that lets us know you're not a robot or some kind of spam thing on the internet. We're going to send you a link instantly to the Dropbox where the uh, free indicators are located as well as all of the templates that were included throughout the video series. Thanks for your time. Let me know if you have any questions about the tools, about the setups, and let me know if you're using them successfully. We'd love to hear from you and uh, share that success with other people. Let us know what you're doing as we grow as a community. Uh, everybody does better, and that's what we're hoping to achieve. Thanks again. We'll talk to you soon. <laughs>